welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. So today I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you how I got this eyeshadow look using my new Cinderella palette from MAC and it looks like this. All of the colors are so beautiful. That is the most perfect palette in the whole world. I am just absolutely obsessed with it. And it was really crazy how I got it because me and my friend Mandy um, went to the mall looking for it. It came out on Thursday, but we went on Friday and asked all the Mac stores if they had it, and they're all like, no, it was sold out in 10 minutes, you know, and the, even online it was sold out like within 10 minutes, and in the stores it was just, it was gone in like 10 minutes, and so we're like, oh, bummer. And so anyways, we went back to the mall just for something else like the following Tuesday, and um, I was like, let's not even ask, you know, they're not going to have it. And so she's like, no, let's just ask, let's just ask. So we went in the Macy's where it just has like the little Mac counter, and um, we're like looking at the display of the Mac, of the Cinderella stuff. And the worker there was like, you guys don't leave. I've got some of that stuff. And we're like, what? So we're standing there and I'm like, okay, I really wanted the eyeshadow palette. And Mandy really wanted the lipstick. And I was like, there's no way they're going to have the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick. You know, it's probably just the, I don't know, whatever other, like, well, I'm sure I would have liked any of the pieces. But I mostly wanted the eyeshadow. And so <clears throat> the lady comes over and she says, okay, all I have left is the eyeshadow and the lipstick and the lip gloss. And we're like, oh my gosh, so excited. And um, I guess why they had that is because one lady had bought those three things and the person that she was going to give them to, I think she was giving them to her daughter as a gift or something, had already got them online. And so she returned them three unopened things and we got there like right at the right time. And it was just crazy how it all came together, but we were so excited and we are just absolutely in love with our Cinderella purchases. I'm so excited about it. I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. So please keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to first prime my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. Okay, and then I'm going to be putting this kind of light champagne sparkly color all over my eyelid. And we wanted to use just a really kind of sparkly color like this, just to keep your eyelids really open and bright looking. And then I'm just really packing that color all over the eyelid. And then today I'm actually going to kind of create a crease that's higher than mine. So I'm just going to put all this light color over my natural crease. And then in just a minute with that darker shade, I'm going to kind of create um, a crease that's a little bit higher than my natural one. And then with this look, I really want to bring that shimmery into the, um, like, it right, or like really far into that inner corner, and that'll just really give like a pretty bright eyed effect. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with this kind of shimmery brown color, and then also this kind of mauveish pink color, and I'm just going to be kind of mixing those two to make my crease. And then as you can see, like, that's kind of where I'm going to make the illusion that I have a crease of right there, instead of where you can actually, like, see mine's quite a bit lower. And kind of, I just kind of started off with, like, a, a really thin line of that darker color, and then after you kind of get that drawn, then just kind of buff it all out. Okay, so then using the same brush that I used on my eyelid, I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's um, a lot less sparkly, and it's a little bit more, uh, like, skin colored, I guess, than that. The, like, this one's a little bit more pinky, and that one's a little bit more of a yellow tone. So I'm going to use that just to kind of put on my brow bone, just so that it has a nice highlight as well. Okay, so then with a really tiny pencil brush like this, I'm going to grab this darkest purple sparkly color and just kind of deepen up my crease a little bit more. And I'm just really using kind of like windshield wiper motions. Okay, and then just with this fluffy brush, I'm just going to kind of blend it all out. Okay, and then kind of what we're going to do to, um, kind of like on this, I, I kind of blended the outer eyeliner corner with, um, with like the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to kind of go through now and outline like where I'm going to put some eyeliner. But we just, I like, I want to keep this really white and sparkly and then just really put some of that darkness just barely, 
just kind of like a little V shape on the outer corner. And I'm just using that darkest sparkly purple. Okay, and then for eyeliner, I'm going to put a little bit of um, this black liquid liner from Palladio. And I'm just going to put some just along my eyelid and wing it out. Okay, and then just to kind of soften that even a little bit more, I'm just going to take some of that same dark sparkly purple and that same little pencil brush and just kind of go over that eyeliner just a little bit. And it just will kind of blend out that outer corner so that nothing looks harsh and it just kind of all blends into each other. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and then put on some fake lashes, and I will be right back. You don't have to wear lashes with this look, but in my head I'm like, mm, I'm pretty sure the fairy godmother probably put some lashes on Cinderella. <laughs> okay, so for the lower lash line, I am going to first of all line my waterline and underneath my lashes with this Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil. This is the color Continuous Almond. Lighting your waterline with a white or a kind of light color like this will really open up the eyes and then also this acts as like an eyeshadow primer so it'll kind of prime your lower eyelashes for, um, or your lower eyelid for eyeshadow. Okay so then I'm going to go in under my eyelashes with this um, kind of shimmery brown color and then just this little teeny pencil. I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, and then this is the final look. And for this look, I just kind of kept my lips a natural pinkish type color so that they are nice and kissable for my prints. And then I just did some kind of rosy pink blush to just give some color to my skin. So I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!